Investigators say the suspected shooter was a YouTube personality who had recently gotten angry with the website. KKL 9's Tina Patel live in Menifee where she spoke to the woman's family. Tina? Yeah, I had a chance to speak with that woman's father and brother. Both of them too emotional, say they're going through too much to go on camera with us. But they do say that they knew about this woman's grudges against YouTube and that they had tried to warn authorities. I'm being discriminated and filtered on YouTube. This is a recent video posted by Nassim Agdam. In it, she complains that YouTube has started filtering her page, adding age restrictions to keep her viewership down. Family members in Menifee, where she used to live, tell us she had been making a living as a social media personality, posting in English, Farsi, and Turkish about animal rights and becoming a vegan, but also making more upbeat music and dance videos. The family became concerned this past weekend when they couldn't reach Agdam by phone or at her home in San Diego. They alerted police and at 2 a.m. Tuesday morning, they got word that Agdam had been found safe in her car in Mountain View, California. When the family realized that was close to YouTube headquarters in San Bruno, they told police that Agdam had been complaining about YouTube and how the company was, quote, ruining her life. They say police told them they would keep an eye on her. And back out here live, law enforcement just showed up. They're inside the family home talking to them right now. Now, we asked the family if Agdam had ever had a gun or any weapons. They said not that they knew of. And as far as they knew, she didn't know anybody personally at YouTube headquarters. We asked why she might have done something like this right now, and they said they didn't know. But they do say that it's just two days away from her birthday.